Um, actually, just just before, I, I am going to give a poem, and it's one that you've probably heard many times before uh, for a lot of friends in New Zealand. It's a poem about New Zealand. Uh, but before that, I just wanted to, to speak a little bit about uh, the, the nature of poetry and how it can be used by many different people as a tool for communication. Um, I don't come, I don't have as big of a theatrical presence. I, I don't have the, 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 the jazz hands. That's, that's a new one for me. Um, <laughs> But, but I have found that poetry is one of the most powerful ways that I've been able to communicate complex emotional messages to large groups of audiences. And I can get away with saying things in a poem that I'd never be able to kind of get away with saying in normal uh, speech. And it, it's really quite powerful. Plus, another, another nice thing about poems, once you write and memorize a poem once, you get to use it many, many times. <laughs> And if you, you know, are in a lot of forums where you're presenting your pitch a lot of times, especially if you're in startups, uh, it can take a lot of time to recreate presentations, recreate work. Uh, if you can keep using the same material over and over and over again, that's just all the more time that you get to refine it and then spend your time actually doing the work, right? That not just, you know, creating presentations. Um, the other thing that I'll, I'll say just briefly about poetry, um, you know, we've been, been connecting a lot uh, over the last few weeks uh, with the cultures of the Tangata Whenua uh, here in uh, New Zealand, Aotearoa, and really has been inviting me to explore my own ancestry. And, um, you know, I come from Irish roots, and poetry is a big part of Irish culture. Song and poetry is a big part of Celtic and Druid culture. And, uh, Unfortunately, you know, one, one of my regrets is uh, I didn't talk to my uh, grandparents very much before they passed away about my ancestry. But I'm really blessed that my, my new wife's father is also Irish, and he's a genealogy nut. He just loves this stuff. And so he's really deep into Irish history, and he's been teaching me a lot about Irish poetry. And uh, it's just been a really nice vessel for me. So I, I just encourage you to uh, also explore the songs and poets of, of your culture, um, as well as uh, people who are moving here to, to explore the culture and songs here. Uh, so anyway, all right. Um, so I hope y'all ready to go, because I'm ready to float. <laughs> I'm a blow like a volcano. Y'all ain't even ready to know. I got so much excitement and so many good feelings as we're here today in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Now, when you come from overseas, the first thing you see is just trees and honeybees, clean mountains, springs, and endless fields of green. From the jungle valley up to the mountain peaks, we listen to Mother Nature and hear loudly she speaks. New Zealand's got world champion rugby and Lord of the Rings, awesome manuka honey, and Earth's happiest sheep. It's literally in tomorrow. 21 hours ahead, that means three hours behind. In the southern hemisphere, with different stars, and a whole different sense of time. But then you look closer, and more is perceived. Because like a cowrie tree, New Zealand's roots run broad, strong, and deep. With a culture not based on commerce, but on kindness. One that values the importance of wisdom, balance, and silence. Kiwis value fairness, compassion, and honesty. Witty and reflective with self-effacing modesty. Balancing individual responsibility with deep community connections, with leaders elected fairly in honest, open elections. Now I'm not saying that it ain't got problems. Like any place, it's got its due. What I'm saying is let's solve those problems in New Zealand first as we solve them for the rest of the world too. And let me speak it quite clearly so that you all can hear me. You ain't gotta live in New Zealand to live Kiwi. It's a state of mind shift. It's a different way of seeing, a different way of taking action, and a different way of dreaming. I dream of an information economy based in a restorative ecology, where we spread our philosophy through our technology about all the ways that we've got to be to keep living on this planet, fairness standard, none abandoned grounded skillfully into being, seeing this life that we've been handed. 
So now if you resonate with that, then after this rap, please connect and we'll talk to each other. Because the world, it ain't flat. And so the edge of one map always begins another piece. New Zealand! <laughs>